Hello everyone and welcome to day two of Spring Fever. If you don't know what Spring Fever is, for the first two weeks of spring I am filming a new five minute review every day Monday through Friday. So today I am reviewing the new Milani eyeshadow palettes. I don't think they have a special name, I think they're just their eyeshadow palettes. It says contour, color, and create. I have four of them. I think there are two others that I don't have but I'm going to quickly go through the colors that I have and just give you my general thoughts on them. I did use this product on my eyes today for my eye look and I will go over that in a second. And then they also come with this brush which is a double ended brush. It has kind of the um, eyeshadow application end here and then more of a blending out end there. As far as the quality of the brush, it's mediocre. It's not something that I really use that much. This didn't blend out too well and I don't know. It's nice to have in the palette. I think it's always nice if they add a brush but this one isn't fantastic and I could not do a complete look with just this brush. So each of these palettes has six shades in it. So it says on the back that the shades are designed to be base, contour, lid, crease, liner, and this is a specialty shade. So I'm not sure exactly what that means but that's kind of how they're designed. I always just use them however I want to use them. This is the Must Have Naturals palette and this one has three matte shades. So this one, this one, and this one are matte and the other three are shimmery. You can see in the swatches that they have different degrees of shimmer. The middle one is more metallic and the lighter ones are a little bit more of the, your lighter wash of shimmer. So it really depends on the palette. Like the quality of shadows really depends on each palette and that is something that's a little bit frustrating but I feel like for the drugstore that's kind of what you what you get. This next palette is called Earthy Elements. This is more of a warm toned palette. And the matte shades in here are these two beautiful, beautiful shades. And the other four are shimmery. This one is the most disappointing shade of all the palettes is this one right here. And you can see it's just not very pigmented and very powdery. A few of the shadows were fairly powdery, but I did feel, I do feel like if you place them over a sticky base, they work just fine. So when I first looked at this palette, I thought that these two shades were going to be very similar, but they're actually not. They have quite a nice um, difference to them, and you can really get a beautiful, shimmery, warm, smoky eye, or just warm, everyday eye shadow look, which I just absolutely love. I think this is a really great palette to have. The next one I have here is called Smoky Essentials, and the matte shades in here are this one, this one, and this one. So this is nice because you actually have your matte highlight color, which I wish the other two had. When I was doing my eyes, I actually ended up using the matte highlight color from this palette because I didn't have a matte highlight color in the neutrals palette. Then really you have these interesting shades of um, your, you can get really kind of a smoky look or you can just get an awesome like blue look, your nice inner corner highlight here. So I think this is a really great palette as well. And then this one is Plum Basics. This has more of your purple plum shades and a pink one in there too. The matte shades in this one are this one, this one, and this one. So three matte shades, three shimmer shades. This one is extremely powdery you know, something to note, but like I said, if you have a sticky base, it can work. It's just, because it's so powdery, it's a little bit harder to work with. But I think this is another really pretty one. I love the matte highlight shade and this pretty crease shade. I think you can get a very nice eye look with this one. You can see in the swatches that the pink shade in the middle is really powdery and the highlight shade is full of this like almost iridescent rainbow glitter which is kind of cool but also kind of weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it but it's a pretty palette with pretty shadows in it as well. So overall I feel like the quality of these palettes is good. I'd probably give it like a solid B if I had to give it a grade because some of the shadows are not the best but there are really great shadows in each palette so I do think it's worth the money. Another thing I wanted to note is that these shadows are very blendable which is wonderful. I think a lot of times drugstore shadows are not blendable. These ones are so that's a huge plus. I also wanted to mention the packaging. Um, the brush, I could take it or leave it. It doesn't have a mirror, so that's a little bit of a downside, but again, it's pretty because you can see all the colors. I like that, so you know, you kind of have to give and take somewhere. I have to admit that I noticed the shimmery shade that I used on my lid today is already kind of losing that shimmer because it is a little bit powdery. It's kind of 
the wear time isn't going to be as high as a more high-end high-quality shadow but if you are on a budget and if you just love these colors and you're looking for something to kind of maybe play around with some colors that you normally wouldn't play around with or something like that I definitely do recommend these palettes they are very nice not my absolute favorite but I will be getting use out of them and I think it's really awesome that Milani is coming out with eyeshadow palettes all right guys that is it for this five minute review let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you check my description box for more information and details and and give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining or helpful if you think you're going to try these I would love to hear what you think about them thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you guys and I will talk to you again very soon bye